for hundreds no no in fact thousands of years humans were completely dependent on plants and animals that nature provided them then in about 9000 bc some tribes discovered that plants can be grown from seeds and that certain animals could be tamed now these two discoveries marked the beginning of domestication of plants and animals which marked the beginning of agriculture this eventually led to the development of cities and civilizations which accelerated collective learning and innovation and by the early 1700s a series of discoveries and inventions made farming more productive and led to the agricultural revolution by the mid 1800s the revolution had spread throughout europe and to north america and the countryside of india by the late 18th and 19th centuries and i will tell you more about this in our chapter peasants and farmers now in the 1830s was the period when farmers in england started using machines in their fields to ease their work and reduce the labor force required to work on the fields since this was also a move to reduce labor it didn't go down too well with the laborers and a revolt was imminent so let's start our journey from the place where agricultural revolution first began that is from england and i will begin by telling you about a few events that took place in england so on the night of 1st june 1830 in the north west of england the barn and hay stacks of a farmer were found reduced to ashes by a fire that started at the night but this was not the only case as many such cases of fire were reported from various other districts of england the number went on increasing in the following months sometimes the barns and hay stacks were burned and sometimes the entire farmhouse was destroyed by setting them on fire by the way do you know what a threshing machine is well let me tell you it is a power driven machine that is used to separate the grain from the crops and one such farmer threshing machine was destroyed by the laborer on the 28th of august 1830 in east kent in england and this destruction did not stop with one machine because in the next two years 387 threshing machines were broken but what was the motive of the laborers well as i told you earlier the work that the machines were doing for the farmers was earlier done by the laborers and ever since the machines came into use the farmers stop hiring them the laborers also sent threatening letters urging the farmers to stop the use of machines in agriculture as this was depriving them of their livelihood they wrote these letters and signed them using a common pseudo name or false name called captain swing let me show you some of these threats that the peasants received the first letter reads and i quote so this is to acquaint you that if your threshing machines are not destroyed by you directly we shall commence our labors signed on behalf of the whole swing from e j hobswarm and george rood captain swing unquote and the next letter states i quote sir your name is down amongst the black hearts in the black book and this is to advise you and the like of you who are to make your wills ye have been blackguard enemies of the people on all occasions ye have not yet as ye ought swing unquote so what happened after the farmers started receiving such letters well the farmers became alarmed by the attacks of the laborers and out of fear many farmers and landlords destroyed their own machines but the government of england did not remain silent in the face of these attacks Due to me. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.